Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to load metadata into SPSQ We would be using a simple flat file to load metadata and I will be using a Oracle Data Integrator ODI Studio So this ODI Studio is it's part of your Oracle hyphen EPM 11.124 installation. So, if you're new to ODI, please do watch my ODI fundamental video. In this video, I assume you know the OBI basic keywords and jargons. This is hands on session, so I show you everything live, how things work. In our example, my source is flat file, and I'm using a staging synopsis memory engine, and my final output is airspace outline so this is a hands-on session i'll show you everything hands-on step by step we are going to load metadata data to this cube this is called financial db fin db cube and i'm going to load new product under my product dimension i also show you my data source file for the sake of simplicity i keep few products and based on parent child relationship or generation reference relationship you can use any one of them okay. so let's first create a load rule file load this meta into a space cube test it and do the same thing we invoke this from oracle data integrator so i'm going to create a load rule file you may be knowing all these steps already let's let's have a look at this create rule file open data source Data source is under my local folder, C drive, load new product, define delimiter. So I'm going to use the delimiter over here as comma. So it's field one, let's split into two field. And I define mapping. I can use parent child method here. So go to dimension build setting. It all goes to my product. First one is your parent and second one is your child. Although you could use generation reference method as well, parent and child. So click OK. OK. And you can see the fill header over here. When you toggle between data load fill to dimension fill, you see the header. Define dimension build setting. As you see, you define dimension build setting. You are loading this a product dimension based on parent child reference method. You can validate this. No syntax error and save this. I name this load rule file called load prod. I'll call this load rule file from ODI. When it is done, you can go to Oracle Data Integrator interface. I already configured. Please watch my previous video about configuring ODI in EPM environment and connect to your repository. This is default user supervisor and synopsis is your password. So, step by step, first step I'll create my source, which is my flat file. I create a physical schema for my source. So, go to file. And I create data server for file and then physical schema. So I call this file as space metadata load. And you define the driver for the file. So I'll be using default JDBC driver, JDBC file driver, and define the driver URL. This is a common URL in order to read from flat files text files then next create a physical schema for your file so I'm loading data from this path define the folder name over here directory schema and work schema and click on save then your physical schema is done you create logical schema logical architecture your technology is continue to be file you can right click and create new logical schema so name it file metadata load as space metadata load and map your logical 
schema to physical schema and save this so first then i go to designer and i complete all the steps for my source which is file system and then the same thing i do for my space which is target i create new project so name project i'm going to name it start with project uh, as space file as space metadata load i write in brief and then i am going to import metadata okay import um, knowledge module so i'm going to import knowledge module my source is flat fan and going to load intermediate synopsis memory engine so i'll use lkm file to sql you can search over here as well file to sql and as space metadata i can later on also i can append this import this knowledge module then you go to model create model folder first for your file system so i call model folder file metadata load and i create a model under the create new model call model file as space metadata load i should be unique i mean uniform definition um, file as space metadata load and your technology is file system your logical schema file as metadata load we save it and then under your model you create new data server so that i'll bring all the uh, columns or i read the flat file so define a data server file as space metadata load define file details it is a delimiter the record separator is ms office record and file separator is comma if you look at your source file the comma is a delimiter isn't it so i use comma as delimiter over here we save this then you need to go to column and you can do reverse engineering did i okay i have not mentioned the file path so under the source name point to your file call load new product and save it and then you can reverse engineering there you can see there are two column column one and column two both of them are string type okay so your source activity is done now your target is as space cube the same step i need to do for as space cube create a physical architecture for as space cube first so right click and create new data server uh, i call as space metadata load your space is running in my local host so i can write ip address server name on local host in case it is running a local host define your credential then create a physical schema for this right click and create new physical schema define your application name which is fin ops and fin db application database respectively fin ops and fin db fin ops and FinDB. Okay, I save the details. Then I create a logical schema and map logical schema with physical schema. So I go to my technology as space. Right click, create new logical schema. I can append logical as space metadata load and map to physical schema. Save it and um 
next step I go to designer and I do reverse engineering I read all the dimension member of my space so in order to do this first you create a project so I name it project a space metadata save this and under this I'm going to import my RKM so on knowledge module import your RKM as space IP and as space and this will write from your staging to your as space okay. so that is your LKM as space metadata next step I create a model folder for a space so I call model folder a space metadata save this and create new model under this right click create new model I name it model as space metadata your technology is your as space and your logical schema then go to reverse engineering go custom reverse engineering make sure your RKM is selected save it and do reverse engineering it will submit as an execution with log level I can make it log level 6 under operator you can see your metadata retrieval is done or not so I go to my session and I see my space metadata is going on I refresh make sure the timestamp is correct yeah it is 956 my metadata uh, RKM is done successfully as a result of this you can see all the dimension members are retrieved okay all dimension member of my space cube got retrieved you can compare over here so you got account dimension, entity, period, product and all right now the last step I create interface and define mapping interface is like a mapping okay. you right click and create interface and define your source so I call this interface as space metadata load And define mapping your source is flat file to drag and drop your flat file and your target is your space cube I use c1 c2 you can give a name uh, also to make it meaningful because I'm loading this to product so I drag and drop product if you look at your target you can load a uh, member alias data storage to pass consolidation UD multiple properties you can do right now I'm loading mapping to dimension member name parent and child then you define flow so staging I wanted uh, staging should be synopsis memory engine so the staging you check the flow and we here we need to find lkm and here I need to find ikm okay so my lkm and lkm both are not selected i go back and import both of them so first one would be lkm and then ikm let's import them once again So we LKM file to SQL. This is what we need to import. Check your knowledge module. And for your S space.
So I right click and import file to SQL. Then I define ICAM. There's a load knowledge module and integration knowledge module from SQL to my space. So I can import integration knowledge module. Right click and import. As space to file metadata. This is done. You save it. Make sure your mapping is done correctly. Okay. Now I need to define which load rule file I'm going to use. Load metadata. So select your as space. Define load rule file. The name of our really load rule file is load prod. So I name it over here load prod. My delimiter is continue to be, uh, it's a comma delimiter. So I continue the comma delimiter. Okay. Now we are ready to execute this knowledge module. So I'm going to right click and execute this, execute this interface. I'm sorry. Right click and execute this interface with job log label 6. Invoke this session started. Go to operator, refresh. If you have error, we'll debug the error as well. So everything gone successfully. The green check mark appears. I'll check my metadata. Right now I have only one product. Uh, when I refresh my outline, I see all these are new products are loaded through my ODI fine so that's it for today do watch my next video about how to load data through Oracle data integrator you can subscribe to our YouTube channel to access more than 200 videos you can also visit our site for any training and consulting requirement so thanks for your time and have a great day